Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to change the polar coordinates. This one in rectangular coordinates in that classic X and Y. So how are we going to do that is right here, down here. You just need these two formula to change them. So the first one will be X equals R cosine of theta. So in our case, it's going to be x equals 1.5 cosine of 7 pi over 3. So basically, we're going to take a calculator. And it depends on your calculator. If you do not have a radian, you may want to change in degree. And that will be cosine of 420. And since we have a calculator, let's see what we get. I end up with 0.75. And again, some of you may say, I don't need a calculator because I can do 7 pi over 3. That is not a bad angle to do it using the unicycle. That is the x value. And how are we going to do the y value? Over here we have the other formula, y equals r sine of theta, which is going to be y equals 1.5 sine of 7 pi over 3. And like I said, let's try to do this one in a different way without a calculator. That will be 1.5 and 7 pi over 3 minus 2 pi which is 6 pi over 3 will be pi over 3, right? So that means I can replace this guy with pi over 3, uh, pi. The uh, sine function is a periodic function of is 2 pi. And now we have 1.5 sine of 60 degree, which is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, now since we have so many decimal, let's use a calculator and do it. I end up with an y of 1.29, I'll round it to the nearest hundred, 1.30, right? So, and that's it. So, the rectangular form of this uh, point will be 0 0.75 and 1.3. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back. I see square for more help. Thank you.